So it's day five of the Duna in Mozambique, and as you can see, it's another misty morning. Now today we're going to go after hippo, well hippo or croc. We're going to head down to the river, I'm after hippo, but I know that Gavin wants a croc after seeing the one I half is harvested earlier on this week. So, another early morning, another full day spotting, and hopefully we'll get one of our aquatic animals. As you can see, the tide's a little bit high now, but it's going out really, really fast, so we're dead excited. We should take an hour, about an hour to get downstream to where they are. They've seen three separate pods down here, including a big bull, so we're going to go and get him. Now we're after Big Hippo. So as you, as you heard before, we went down the river to try and look for my hippo, but we also knew that Gavin here was after a croc. Now we had a little bit of hippo action about halfway down, but Gavin managed to get this little beauty here. In fact, I like to think of it as a bit of a team effort, because I did back you up. Absolutely. Just returning the favour, because Gavin backed me up on my <laughs> croc. So Gavin, this is your first ever croc? No, my first ever croc, especially here in the wild. You know, what better place to, to shoot it, like right here. Really, for it's, it's it was a thrilling experience for me. Yeah, good, and some good shooting as well. You've um, this 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 croc is definitely dead. I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's a magnificent animal, as you, yeah. as you say. You know, the rivers here are totally wild. You know, normally when you go and shoot at Gavin's place, everything is either darted or drugged or tied down. <laughs> no, just kidding. But uh, seriously, Mozambique, this is really is out in the wild, all the way down. Hippo and croc, uh, hippo sign and crocs everywhere, and I was really excited when we saw the hippo. Absolutely. I mean, to, to see a small little herd like them, you know, a family uh, herd like that, it was really phenomenal. Um, I mean, the, the, the two, three females with their little calves, I mean, it's, it's just mind-boggling to see it. It was quite exciting at one point because I thought we might have to take a shot. They get quite uh, aggressive, uh, cows do, when there's young calves around. As soon as they kind of went down, everybody had to reload and there's some slightly nervous faces around. But <laughs> this is only a little aluminium skiff, but it uh, seems to do the job perfectly. Well, great shooting today, brother. Well, thanks for backing me up. No, no problem. Any time. If you want me to shoot your game for you, you just ask me, man. I'm more than happy okay, I'll to be do. next time, remember, remember, I'll carry the firearm on your game, too. You do it, man. You do it. Right, now we've got to drag this thing home. He had to yeah. shoot a big one, didn't he? Oh. 